What's up guys? I hope you're all having a great day today. Today I'm going to be breaking down the Kansas Jayhawks 2020 football schedule. Kansas last year, they didn't have a very good football season as we all know. They haven't really had a great football season in a while. The last time they've been very relevant was around the 2007 was around 2007 uh, when they won the Orange Bowl. But since then they haven't had many great years. They have a great head coach with Les Miles or you can argue that he's an okay head coach, but uh the talent doesn't seem to be converting on the field. Uh, so, you know, Kansas is definitely an interesting team. I thought it would be an interesting schedule breakdown. You know, they did get a Big 12 win last year against Texas Tech. That was a pretty big win, and they nearly beat Texas. So a little bit of improvement in my mind. They still have plenty of ways to go, but I decided why not break down the schedule. I think it's very interesting. One, New Hampshire. Unless this is hockey, this should be easy. This should be easy for them. They'll, they'll have no problem whatsoever ever here. Two at Baylor. That's a tough one. I understand Baylor's lost a lot of key pieces, but still, Baylor's a pretty good football team. Dave Aranda, you know, I think he'll work well with the defense. That was pretty good last year, considering he was a former defensive coordinator at LSU. So that's definitely going to help out. Uh, so I think the defense should be good. The offense, maybe not so much, but still enough to get them over. Uh, to get them over Kansas, so they win this one. Three Boston College. They beat Boston College last year. I don't even know if it was very close, actually. I was surprised they went into Boston College and beat them. This upcoming season, I think Boston College doesn't have as much talent, but they have better coaching. So I'm, I'm, I'm in intrigued on this matchup. I don't, wonder, I don't really know how Boston College is going to do uh, if the coaching, you know, the coaches from, obviously, Ohio State, that's where a lot of their new coaches are, are from, a lot of assistant coaches from Ohio State. Uh, so I'm interested to see how they convert to Boston College, how they did there. But the talent definitely hurts them. Losing A.J. Dillon especially hurts. So I think it's close. Overall, though, I think Boston College is still the better football team, in my opinion. I'll take the Eagles here. Uh, but Kansas can definitely put up a great fight. Four at Coastal Carolina. Man, if you can't win this one, we've got problems. They should... I don't, I don't know why it's an away game, though. I'm, I'm a little bit confused on why it's an away game, but... They should be fine on this one, no problem. So I think they start out that stretch 2-2. Two and two. They start out that stretch 2-2, two and two, which I think is decent. Five, Iowa State. I think Iowa State's a ranked team next year. I think they're going to have trouble here. I'll take the Cyclones here. They're just much better. Six, rival at Kansas State. Kansas State, I think, is going to be a competitive football team. I really do, like last year. And I think they'll beat Kansas pretty easily. Seven, Oklahoma State, tough. I think Oklahoma State's a top 20 team. They've got a great run game in Chuba Hubbard and a great coach with Mike Gundy. Uh, that's a win for Oklahoma State. At West Virginia, tough game. You know, it's at West Virginia. Not not necessarily the easiest place to play. It could be cold weather there. Uh, and on top of that, West Virginia's not very great, but they're still more talented than Kansas. I'll take West Virginia here. So now you're two and six. You you did not do very good in my opinion at the start of the season during uh, the in the start of the uh, in conference schedule. You do, you don't do very good there. Nine bye week. Okay, time to have your bye week. You can prepare for a big opponent in Texas. I'm sorry. I understand Kansas only lost by like one against Texas, but Texas, as long as they're not injured a lot like they were last year, they should be fine. They're very talented. They have a top 15 recruiting class. They should be a very good football school. I think they're fine. 11 at Texas Tech. I think it's a 50-50 game. I think Kansas actually beat Texas Tech. I think it was like a game-winning field goal block last year or something like that. Uh, you know, so could be a win here. I think it's close, uh, but I would favor Texas Tech. 12, Oklahoma. We don't need to go over this one. We know who's winning this one. And 13, TCU. I don't think TCU will be that bad that next year. I think they'll improve. I think the uh, Horn Frogs get the job done. So overall, I have Kansas going three and nine. I have them winning New Hampshire and, and Coastal Carolina. And let's say I'm gonna give them one. I'm gonna throw them a bone here. I'm gonna give them one win in their conference. I don't know where it'll be. Most likely Texas Tech uh, that they'll win. Uh, but yeah, that's overall my record prediction. Again, I'm sorry it's not very long, but I just feel like Kansas isn't necessarily a very strong football school. But hey. 
you're technically the national champions in basketball if you're a Kansas fan. I mean, you finished at the top of the AP poll. So when we look at when we look back on this past college basketball season, people are going to think of Kansas as the national championship champion in basketball. So you got that. Uh, but football, I don't think they're going to be very good in. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is it for now. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It will help me make more good content. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now, now guys.